In 1545, a nightmare swept through Mexico. A disease the Nahua called cocolistli, pestilence, tore across communities, and chroniclers described a brutal illness marked by high fever and bleeding from the nose, mouth, and even eyes. Within a few years, as many as 15 million people, an estimated 80% of the population, were dead. For centuries, historians debated the cause. Spanish colonization had introduced old-world pathogens to a population with little immunity, so candidates ranged from smallpox and measles to typhus, even an Ebola-like virus. But viruses are notoriously hard to identify centuries later. A team of German researchers offered a new suspect, Salmonella enterica. Using a broad screening method, they searched ancient DNA preserved in the teeth of 29 people buried at Teposcolula Yucunda in Oaxaca. Several individuals carried genetic traces of Paratyphi C, a Salmonella strain that can cause enteric fever, typhoid-like illness with high fever, rash, and severe headaches. The results, published in Nature Ecology and Evolution, also represent one of the first molecular detections of this infection in colonial-era New World remains. It's not a closed case. Finding Paratyphi C in dozens of skeletons doesn't automatically explain millions of deaths, and it doesn't neatly account for the reported hemorrhaging. But it's a powerful clue, and an even bigger proof of concept. Archaeology can now test ancient graves for many pathogens at once, reopening cold cases from history's deadliest epidemics.